Hi, so today we'll be discussing the different definitions that you need to know when you talk about mechanism of labor. The first definition is lie. Now, lie basically means the relationship of the long axis of the fetus to the long axis of the mother. And this could be longitudinal lie, transverse lie or oblique lie. The next definition is the presentation. What is presentation? It is basically that part of the fetus that is occupying the lower pole of the uterus. Now, in the longitudinal lie, you can either have the cephalic presentation or if it is a breach, we call it the podalic presentation, that is the bottom of the fetus is occupying the lower pole of the uterus. Then we have the presenting part. Presenting part is basically that part of the fetus that we feel when we do a, a, a vaginal examination, what is overlying the cervix. And the attitude, the, the presenting part depends on the attitude. What is the attitude? Attitude basically means the degree of flexion or extension. So in cephalic presentation, we can have from a well flexed head, a deflexed head, a partially extended head and a fully extended head. Then we have the position. Position basically means relationship of the fetus to different parts of the maternal pelvis. And the last definition is the denominator. The denominator is that part of the presenting part which is used to describe position. These are the definitions that you should know.